it was just a normal day. Um, and I happened to read online the story of an 11 year old girl. She had been cyber bullied for over a year and a half. She couldn't take it any longer. She actually climbed to the top of her town's water tower and jumped off. To think that someone younger than myself had been pushed to take their own life, um, it was absolutely unacceptable to me. That's really when my journey to stop cyberbullying began. My first step was really to look into some of the more conventional solutions. And they fall under a category of go tell a parent or guardian. And I realized that it was super ironic that we were putting the burden to stop the cyberbullying on the victim instead of attacking the problem at the source with the cyberbully. If you tried to post something like, I hate you, go kill yourself. We pick up on it, we rethink alert you. We go, whoa, hold on. You really sure you wanna post this message? I conducted a 1500 trial study on this, found that over 93% of the time when an adolescent gets a second chance, they change their mind and decide not to post the offensive message on social media. One of the things that I recognize about the app itself is that I'm kind of using technology to solve a problem that technology itself has created. You know, we definitely want to make sure that Rethink can be in the hands of every teen around the globe. So we're looking to release international languages. I'm a person who looks to the future and thinks that health and technology are really how we are going to make some of the most groundbreaking solutions of tomorrow. I truly believe we can all stand up and be positive digital citizens. I think that we can spread happiness and it starts with you taking a stand.